you need to hold at least 1,620 XRP. Why that number? Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain how 1,620 XRP could change your life. Right now, XRP is priced around 61 cents, and XRP has been falling behind the recent bull market. When we look at the past month, you can see XRP is only up 6.2%. When we go ahead and we look at something like a Bitcoin, which is leading the market right now with the different ETFs, we can see that Bitcoin is up 28% over the past month, and this is a trend you can see for almost all other cryptocurrencies, Ethereum, uh, Solana, all these different ones. You are seeing massive price movement over the past month, really month and a half, two months, but when we look at XRP again, XRP lagging behind the rest of the market. Now, why is this happening? What is going on right now? Personally, when I look at XRP, I think XRP is lagging in an unfair way. I think XRP is majorly being overlooked right now, and this has absolutely insane potential. Let me tell you why. Obviously, when we take a look at the market right now, there's a ton of excitement around the Bitcoin ETFs getting launched. So Bitcoin obviously is going to be a market leader. We have the ETFs going public. We have a lot of great excitement, a lot of money flowing into Bitcoin. We also see a lot of different meme coins are doing pretty well as well. We can see Dogecoin, Shiba Inu. These are cryptocurrencies that are doing really well. Even on the seven day, you guys can see those numbers right here, 30%, 12%. But as we look at the two month charts, for example, absolutely insane price movement has been happening for these different cryptocurrencies. On the one month right now, Shiba Inu is up over 100, almost 180%. That is absolutely insane. Even compared to Bitcoin, we're seeing massive explosions on these different cryptocurrencies. Look at the one year, guys. This is crazy what we're seeing with things like Shiba Inu. So why is XRP lagging? Now, as we look towards the future with wide scale crypto adoption, we're going to see people starting to use cryptocurrency for different transactions in their daily lives, whether it's buying groceries, paying the rent, paying the utility bills. People are going to start to use cryptocurrency a lot more as we're seeing this wide scale adoption. And really, these Bitcoin ETFs is the first signal that we're starting to go into that phase. So what do we expect to see when people start to use that? Well, first of all, Bitcoin's going to have a lot of problems with trying to become something to be used for wide scale adoption. Why is that? Well, Bitcoin has a very limited amount of transactions per second that it could actually handle. And so if you try to use Bitcoin for, let's say, all credit card transactions, let's say we're trying to re replace credit card transactions in the U.S., Bitcoin would struggle dramatically with that kind of volume. And you might be thinking, okay, well, then we can go to something like Ethereum. But the problem with Ethereum is the insanely high gas fees. We've seen these Ethereum fees over the past couple of weeks spike as high as $50, $100 gas fees. And they're doing some things to try and combat that. But let's say it even gets down to a $5 fee. Nobody's going to want to go ahead and buy some groceries with a $5 fee. It just does not make sense. You're not going to want to buy gas with a $5 fee on top of whatever you're buying. It doesn't make any sense. This is why XRP is perfect for this kind of a thing. Now, when we look at transactions per second on credit cards in the US, you're looking at about 1,700 transactions per second. When we look at XRP, it theoretically can handle 3,400 transactions per second, which is way more than the total credit card volume in the US. Now, this is theoretical. And so XRP does need to scale to be able to handle this, but this is something that XRP theoretically could be able to really easily handle they just need to scale it up when we look at transaction fees here's a history of the transaction fees for xrp you can see at the peaks here you're looking at basically let's say xrp is a dollar just to make it round and even you're looking at one cent in this scenario this is very very small in current terms this is basically half a cent in transaction fees and this obviously dropped dramatically down to small fractions of a penny as you guys can see right above me here so this is very doable if you're gonna go spend 10 bucks, you don't wanna spend $5 on transaction fee. Even if you're gonna spend 50 or 100 bucks, that is a large percentage. But if you're gonna pay, let's say a couple cents, that's very reasonable for something like XRP. And as we see the price of XRP explode, obviously the value of these different XRP amounts would go up significantly. And this is why I think XRP can overtake Ethereum. Right now, Ethereum is number two, in my opinion, mainly because it is widely used. It is a thing that people are building on top of. You have NFTs on Ethereum, you have a lot of different currencies on Ethereum, and then you have other things that are built on top of Ethereum's other layer two solutions, things like that. I think XRP could be the next big Ethereum in terms of actual use case. And so I think XRP could easily overtake Ethereum, which right now would mean that XRP would go up over 12x, which means that your 1,620 XRP would be worth at least $10,000 if this happens. Now, of course, this could go way higher than that. The sky's really the limit. I mean, Ethereum right now is valued this way with some limited use case scenarios. Granted, it's the majority use case scenarios, but it's still pretty limited in the grand scheme of things. If XRP actually takes over, let's say, credit card transactions, I mean, your 1,620 XRP could easily go to $100,000 
or more if that happens. Now, the problem is, how do we get there? And that's something that we need to figure out. And this is why the explosive growth that we've seen in cryptocurrency so far is so small compared to the grand scheme of the potential of cryptocurrency and specifically XRP to shape the future of transactions. And if you want to learn more about how cryptocurrency can change the way the world operates with transactions, you need to hear Max Kaiser in this video right here.